goodness sake. Do you know what time it is? Judy! I don't feel well. I've got tummy pains. Oh, now, look, don't you start all that again. You're going to school today, and that's that. Your breakfast's ready. Come on. It won't be as bad as all that. It will. Angie Davies says the boys at Grange are terrible. Well, you shouldn't listen to what Angie Davies says. Anyway, how does she know? Has she ever been there? Well, no, but... Well, there you are, then. You just think about all the new friends you'll make. So I'm happy with the friends I've got. at Mrs. Jenkins. Oh, and who might you two posh-looking boys be? It's us, Alan and David. Is it? Oh, so it is. I didn't recognise you were clean faces. Oh, don't you start, Mr. Jenkins. I've had that once already. Coming in. Just a minute. You've only had it on ten minutes, and already you look a mess. I don't like wearing a tie. I can't help that. Why do I have to wear one? Because you do. Now then. Shall I come along to the school with you? Hey! Hey! Don't kick that ball around there. You break the windows. If you want to play, go and play in the playground. You're not going to school wearing tights and high heels. I've put them on. But, Mum, no one wears these things anymore. Carol wears makeup. Carol's older than you. She's in the fifth year, and she's been allowed to by the school. But, Mama... She should put them on. You'll grow up soon enough. I'm going. See you at lunchtime. Annie, come, come back here. I told you to wait for Trisha. Oh, come on, Mum. She's old enough to go to school by herself. I'll never let you go to school by yourself. Well, why don't you take her? I've got to take Jenny to school. I can go by myself. Mum, she doesn't have to wait for me. That'd be silly. Carol wants to take you, don't you, Carol? Oh, yeah. Can't wait. You'll like Grange Hill. Carol likes it. Oh, Mum, don't fuss. I'll be all right. Bye. <laughs> and no jewellery. <sighs> don't forget to wait for Carol at lunchtime. Straight through. Yes. 
So don't forget, I read out the number of the form first, and then the names of the pupils in each form. When I've called your name, I'd like you to stand by that door over there. Your form tutor will take you to your form room for registration and timetable. It's all really quite painless. Now then, form one alpha. Kevin Addington. Sheila Anderson. Justin Bennett. Diane Brophy. Roger Canning. Louisa Dunn, Marion Edwards, William Graham, Benny Green, Judy Preston, Margaret Shaw, Janet James, Mary Johnson, Try to put that young girl's eye out, were you? Were well, you born stupid? Diana Lowe. I see. It's something you've developed Teresa yourself, is it? McMahon. Don't John let me Matthew. ever catch you doing that again, understand? Catherine Morgan. Do you understand? Richard yes, Nolan. What's your name? Peter Jenkins. Paul Can't hear you, sir. Peter Jenkins, sir. Where's your Brian tie, Jenkins? Peter. In your pocket, sir. It wasn't designed to go in your pocket, Jenkins. It goes round your neck. Gary Thomas. Yes, sir. Then I suggest you put it on now. Anthony Underwood. Face the front and pay attention. Thomas Watson. Anne Wilson. Wilson? Does anybody know Anne Wilson? No? Trisha Yates. That's the last one. You seem to have one missing, Mr. Mitchell. Right, you lot. Let's go and sort ourselves out. Follow me. Down that corridor. Come on. Now, form one beta. Paul Ambler, David Arnold, Linda Balquin. Is, please. Can't you read? Oh, uh, which building is it, please? Down there, to your right, and it's the building facing you. Okay. Thanks a lot. Oh, don't mention it. <laughs> Tracy Mills. William Newing. I hope they don't split us up. And I just hope I'm not in his Pets. class. What class is Dave in? Don't know. Oh. Gillian Smith. If you're not in the same class, I'll meet you at Bernard break. All right, South. where? Outside here, I Margaret suppose. Timmin. Okay. Michael Townsend. Alan Turner. That's the last. You told me a lie. You're not calling me a liar, are you? Yes. You told me the main assembly hall was over there. And it isn't. But you saw the sign. Yes, you probably turned it round or something. So, what are you going to do about it, mastermind? I only want to find the main assembly hall. Please tell me where it is. You're so clever. You find it. Hello. Hello. 
My name's Justin Bennett. What's your name? Judy. Judy Preston. Is this bigger than your last school? I didn't want to come here. Nor did I. None of my friends are here. My mum says we'll make lots of new friends. I won't. I hate this school. Right, you lot. Back to places. Would everybody... What's your name? Benny Green, sir. Why aren't you wearing school uniform? I haven't got one, sir. My mum told the headmaster she couldn't afford to buy one, sir. Oh, did she? Yes, sir. My dad's off work. He fell off a crane and busted his back, sir. I'm sorry about that. Hey, oh, he's all right, sir. He's going to have to wear a cool suit like me mum wears. Is he? Yes, sir. It keeps your back straight, see, sir, so it do not hurt so much. Oh, I see. Well, go and sit down, please. Right. Now, my name is Mitchell, and I'm your form master. Now, the reason you've been put in alphabetical order is for my benefit. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting very, very old, and my memory isn't what it used to be. But the one thing I can remember is my alphabet. So hopefully I'll get to know you all a lot quicker this way, and then you can move about and sit with your friends. Or get away from people with smelly socks. <laughs> Or indeed, the people in the front might want to get away from my smelly socks. <laughs> anyway, let's just make sure that you're all here and no one was kidnapped on the way from the hall. Yes, just one missing. Anne Wilson. Does anyone know Anne Wilson? No? Right. Now, just to prove that this system works, you must be Trisha Yates. Yes, sir. You see, it works. And you must be Thomas Watson. No, sir. No? I'm Watson, sir. Are you? And who are you? Graham, sir. Graham. Since when has G come between W and Y, Graham? It doesn't, sir. I know it doesn't, Graham. You should be over there. Yes, sir. Then why aren't you over there? I don't know, sir. Well, go and sit over there now. There isn't a place, sir. Good point. <laughs> Right, when I ask you all to move, could we move round one for Mr. Graham and leave a place for Anne Wilson? Yes, Green. Will he be sitting next to me, sir? Yes, he will. Why? I just wondered if he's got smelly socks, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, Graham, Mr. Green wants to know if you have smelly socks. No, sir. No, Green. Mr. Graham does not possess smelly socks. Oh, that's all right then, sir. Oh, thank you, Green. I'm deeply relieved. Move! Uh, Mrs. Monroe, Mr. Roper left these for you. Oh, thank you. And Mr. Johnson from the art department asked if he could see you at 11.30. Oh, no, I mean with, with a head then. Tell him 12.30 before lunch. And what about the music list? Should be ready this morning. Right. Oh, and by the way, Janet, you've got the admissions lists, haven't you? Yes. Could you pick them in, please? Right, oh. Come along. Now, wait here, young man. We'll soon get you fixed up. Oh, excuse me. Peter Jenkins, miss. No, I haven't. Are you sure you're supposed to be here? I've got the time, miss. So I see. Do it up. Hey, well, come along. Everybody sit down, please.
Thank you. Now, the last time, is there anybody else wanting to ask for school meals? Did I have semolina, sir? Sometimes, yes. Why do you like semolina? Oh, no, sir, but the maids eat it at my last school. Yes, well, I'm sure that won't happen here. Right, for the last time, any more for school meals? Going once, going twice, gone. And very wise you are, too. <laughs> You still here? I forgot all about you. Peters, isn't it? Jenkins, miss. Jenkins, of course. Well, come along. I know where to put you. wandering around the school at this hour. Please, miss. I'm sorry, but I'm late, miss. Yes, you most certainly are. The clock didn't work, miss. And Mum didn't know what time it was either. And we turn on the radio to see... All but... right, all right. It can be very confusing on your first day. We'll say no more about it. Now, what's your name? Anne Wilson. Anne Wilson. Let me see. Oh, yes, you're in Form 1 Alpha with young Peters here. Jenkins, miss. Oh, yes, Jenkins, of course. Come on, both of you. Right. Has anybody else not got a pen or a pencil? Good. Right. Any questions? Yes, Green. When do we have football, sir? No, I meant sensible questions, Green. Although that does remind me, if anybody wants to try for the school football or hockey teams, the trials will be held sometime this week, so check the notice boards for details. Sit down, please. Mr. Mitchell, I bought you a couple of waifs and strays to add to your flock. Uh, at least uh, one waif, uh, Peter Jenkins, and one stray, Anne Wilson. Ah, yes. Well, uh, we've saved a place for you, Anne, over there. And I wasn't really expecting the pleasure of your company, Peter, so to save disturbing everybody, would you sit down over there for now? Well, Mr. Mitchell, all present and correct, ready to start their new lives at Grange Hill. Let's hope it's a pleasant experience for them. Oh, I'm sure it will be, Mrs. Munro. One big happy family. 